Okay, so this is the Tiny Chat Fan 22 making this little raw review. You feel me? On my little notes. So basically, the first segment of the night was um, John Cena comes out, right? They were supposed to do this little kind track signer uh, at the beginning of the show, but J Brock Lesnar was late, so Edge comes out, comes out. And tells basically tells John Cena get a clue. You know what I'm saying Brock Lesnar is not playing with you. He is there to demolish you, and you're sitting back here, you know, laughing and, and joking like it's funny. You feel me? Hold on. match was Chris Jericho versus Kofi Kingston. Chris Jericho won, made Kofi Kingston tap out. Anyway, next match was Laura Tenzai. He basically killed our truth You know? Basically killed him. The next segment was Kane and Randy Orton. Basically Kane talking about how uh, Randy Orton lost on that WrestleMania. He's going to lose again at Extreme Rules. Yada yada yada. Anyway, Kane, I mean Randy Orton, cuts the promo and says that he had Paul Bear. So he had Paul Bear all tied up and shit in the chair tied up. He opens the door to the freezer, shoves Paul Bear into the freezer, and that was the end of it. And then Kane says, um, Kane says that Paul Bear really wasn't his dad. The devil was his dad or some crazy shit. Anyway, next. Uh, oh God, this match was corny as hell. This match was the worst. <sighs> For Brosa De Rio and Cody Rose versus Big Show and the Great Khali. Let me start off by saying this: the Great Khali is the worst wrestler in the WWE today. He is the worst. And basically, he didn't get no ring time except for like one, one time or twice. I think it was one time. He, he only got that ring time one one time, and basically his three moves his three moves are you know clothesline chop choke slam. Big Show, you know he was doing all the he was doing all the moves and shit like that. You know he was taking all the beating, and so basically our book to Dario walks out on Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes gets choke slam one two three match away. So the next segment is. Chris Jericho, Johnny Ace. Wait, Chris Jericho, Johnny Ace, and he basically talked, conversating in the back, talking about how Chris Jericho was basically saying how CM Punk was drinking and y'all should do a sobriety test and all this yada 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 shit. So, anyway, next next promo was Brock Lesnar interviewed by Josh Matthews. Man, Brock Lesnar, beast. He's a fucking beast. He fucking, he fucking choked that nigga the fuck up and then had the nerve to fix his tie and shit. He's funny. Brock Lesnar funny as shit for that. But yeah, Brock Lesnar ends up choking a nigga, you know, fixing him up and then throwing him into the, uh, into one of the setups for the interview overall, you know, basically. Um, so the next match was, uh, bathroom break. Beth Phoenix versus Nikki Bella for the Lumberdale match. The match sucked as Nikki Bella won because I believe Beth Phoenix hurt her ankle and it was a real injury. Next match. I mean, next promo. Chris Jericho and CM Punk. The field sobriety test. Basically, um, CM Punk recited the alphabet backwards and and he walked the straight line, so basically he didn't lose the title. The match is still on fixture move. The next match was Sheamus versus Mark Henry, special guest special guest referee Daniel Bryan. This match was short and it was corny. Basically, Daniel Bryan distracted Sheamus. Mark Henry came with a little clothes on and and Daniel Bryan Daniel Bryan counted one, two, three and the match was over. And at the end of the match, Daniel Bryan took his shirt off. Take his, took his referee shirt off because you know Seamus if he hits another official he'll get fired so he 
Daniel Bryan took the referee shirt off, threw it at, threw it at Sheamus. And then Sheamus went out after him, whooped his ass, and that was that. God, this match is crazy corny. The next match was Primo and Epico versus Zack Ryder and Santino. Basically, Santino and Zack Ryder won at the end of the match. I, I don't remember who it was. I think it was Primo. Um, he drop kicked Santino. Santino. Santino did a little, little Shawn Michaels look like John. He he fell, lipped up, and then did the pull. But one, two, three, match pull. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> next promo was Kane. Kane takes the takes Paul Bear out of the out of the freezer. He talks to him, and then he basically puts him back in the freezer. The freeze, I guess. Anyway, the next promo was Primo and Epico um, basically talking with AW, and that was that. The next match was corny as hell. Brock, I mean, I said Brock. Brodus Clay and Hornswoggle versus Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler. The WWE needs to stop burying Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler, putting them in a match with these two fucking clowns, Brodus Clay and Hornswoggle. They need to stop that. Basically, the match ended by Vicky slapping Bruce Clay, which got Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler disqualified. Match was over. So, the next thing was the Brock Lesnar and John Cena signing. So, Brock Lesnar, I mean, uh, John Cena, alright, Brock Lesnar comes out first. John Cena's song plays. He doesn't come out. Alright, so, basically, Brock was talking shit, running John Cena down, talking about he's a scared little boy. He's not going to come out. And then, he basically sits down with John Laurinaitis and basically runs his ass down. That's why they need a Brock Lesnar back here. So he could he so he could take charge. Then he was boss and shit tonight. Basically he said he went a private he went Vince McMahon private jet to the venue and to to other venues and shit. He before John Laurinaitis does something, he gotta go through Brock. Like Brock Lesnar was running this nigga down. And then, and then Brock Lesnar, I mean, and then um, John Cena comes out, and then he just stares at, he just stares at Brock Lesnar, and then, basically, um, Brock Lesnar talks, yeah, his fucking gums, he's talking shit to um, John Cena, talking about how you're scared, I feel this vibe that you're scared, and then John Cena signs the contract, he has a little. He has a little chain, the little, you know, word life, word life chain, word life chain on, and then he he has it around his hand, right, and then he just stand, they just in a standoff, and so Brock flips the table over, <coughs> Brock laughs, he chuckles a little bit, and he walks out, he walks out the ring, and that was Raw. So basically, what I give this Raw tonight is a... I give it a C minus. Wasn't that good. Wasn't that good. Um. Well, this was my WWE Raw review. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Um, like my Facebook fan page. And you know that's it. I'm out of here.